Oh, come, let us adore him. Emmanuel, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. His name is Jesus, the righteous son of God, the lily of the valley. Good morning to our family and friends watching us live today. We bring you greetings from the Bethel Community Church right here in the beautiful city of Fairfield, California. Our pastor is Anthony Gilmore. For those of you who would like to send cards, prayer requests, or words of encouragement, our mailing address is 600 East Tabor Avenue, Fairfield, California, 94533. If you would like to send donations, you can use the Givelify app, Venmo, or the Cash app. We want to thank you for watching us each week and supporting this ministry. While many of you are unable to be with us physically, because the building is closed, the church is still yet alive. It's the people who make the church. During this time, we must remain vigilant, we must remain prayerful, and we must remain faithful because Jesus is the light of the world. We are here to bring you hope, peace, and joy. We are glad you're watching, and we praise God for technology. So sit back, relax, and worship from wherever you are. Oh, to be kept by Jesus, Lord, at thy feet I fall. kept by the power of God, kept from a world unspotted. I'm treading where Jesus Oh, to be kept by G, oh Jesus, Lord, at thy feet I fall. Nothing, 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 oh. 
and everlasting God. We thank you this morning for waking us up and starting us on our way. We thank you, O oh God, for allowing us to be able to wait, praise and worship your name. We thank you, O oh God, for allowing us to see another holiday season, to see another Christmas, if it is your will. We thank you, O oh God, for just being God all by yourself. We thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit and that we're here today by faith. We're here today, O oh God, because you know that you love us, O oh Heavenly Father, and we know that we have been saved by faith. And O oh Heavenly Father, as we go into this holiday season, we're praying, oh God, that you would bless those and comfort those whose loved ones has already gone on to be with you. Comfort them, oh God, and let them know that you are a comforter. Let them understand that joy will come in the morning. Praying, oh God, that you will also comfort those that may be going through stressful situations. But the storm will pass over. And we know, oh God, that you're in the middle of what's happening today. Then, oh God, we want to thank you for the vaccine that's now becoming available. We want to thank you, oh God, because we know that you guided the scientists, you guided the doctors, and you made it possible. We want to thank you, O oh God, for a new administration, a new leadership for our country. We thank you for the new leaders in our community. And O oh God, there is just so many things that we can thank you for, that if we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't thank you enough. But, oh God, just be with us today as we continue to lift up your holy name. Praise and worship you today, oh God. And now, oh Heavenly Father, we give thanks this morning for our pastor, the under shepherd that you place here over this flock. We thank you, oh God. We know that he is a loving father and grandfather, but he also loves every member of the flock. So, Heavenly Father, continue to hide him behind the cross. Continue to give him the words and the visions that he can deliver to the waiting congregation. You made a way for him to deliver this word, although we'll shut down the building but you're still made away. And then, oh, Heavenly Father, we want to pray and give thanks for the First Lady of this church. We want to thank you, oh God. We already know that she's a loving mother and grandmother. But, oh, Heavenly Father, she also is an encourager. So let it be, oh God. Let it continue to be the true woman of God and oh heavenly father bless every ministry leader bless all the ministerial staff bless those that are praying for one another each and every day and oh heavenly father just give us the strength and the mindset to hold on just a little while longer we know and we can see there is light at the end of the tunnel 
the light is becoming brighter. We know that the storm that we've been going through will pass over. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. But we know the day will come. And oh, Heavenly Father, we're just praying. And we're thankful for everything that you have already done. As we look back over 2020, and we look back over our lives, you brought us to this point, oh God. And we know that you will not leave us as long as we're holding on to your unchanging hand. Oh God Almighty, we're praying this morning we will continue to hold on because we know that you will make a way out of no way. And oh, Heavenly Father, we are so glad this morning that you have directed the virus to pass over to let, to let the congregation has not been affected. We know it's your protection. Yeah, yeah. And now, Heavenly Father, Thank you. as we go into this service today, let us lift up those that are down. Let us encourage those that need to be encouraged. Bless us today and every day as we go forward. We pray and worship in the name of Jesus. And we ask it all in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, and for his sake. Let everyone under the sound of my voice say amen. And thank God. Till my rapture soul shall find Beyond the river, near, near the cross, I watch, I watch and wait. I'm hoping. Hope and trusting, yes I am, I'm trusting ever. The real. 
rest, sweet rest. Oh, I wanna find rest. Oh, rest. Make a joyful shout unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy, his mercy endureth forever. Wherever you are, I feel you. I may not be able to hear you, but I know that the Spirit of the Lord resides and rests. And we just want to be thankful and grateful for another day. Another day that the Lord has made. For another Sunday morning, for many have gone on since last Sunday to be with the Lord. But thank God we've still been given another chance, another opportunity to lift our voices, to wave our hands, to say thank you, Jesus. To praise his holy name, not just on Sunday, but every day. Because we know that tomorrow, it may sound cliche, but it's not promised. In fact, the next moment isn't promised to any of us. So we want to do all we can while we can, giving thanks unto the Lord. We welcome you to Bethel Community Church's worship experience. Though it's been different for the last eight months, God has still resided here. And we're grateful and thankful for his presence. We're thankful for just one more time. Oh, come. Let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Rise, the Lord. Help me sing that. Oh, come. Oh,
wherever you are.
Jesus in a manger. Jesus. Joy. Jesus in sorrow. Jesus. Hope. Jesus. For tomorrow. Jesus. Call his name. Jesus. 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 Call his name. Jesus. 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 Do you know him? Jesus. Have you oh, yeah. tried him? Jesus. Do you know him? Jesus. Have you tried him? Jesus. Oh, how precious Jesus. is that name? Jesus. All you got to do, Jesus. all you got to do, Jesus. just call him. Jesus. Just call him. Oh, what a wonderful child. Well, well. Jesus. 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 So holy, meek and mild. Oh. The light, the, light, the hope, the hope, to all. holiday season, we reverence Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, yes, yes. the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Jesus, born in a manger, as they say, wrapped in swaddling clothes in Bethlehem. Born into a sinful world. They knew him not, but his name is Jesus, wonderful counselor, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Oh, bless his name. No name is sweeter. Jesus, the sweetest name I know. Thank you, Lord. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Tender and mild, 
today. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all of the earth keep silent. We come to you today praying for you, you, and you. Those of you that have asked for prayer, we're lifting you up today in a special way. We don't know all of your names, but the Lord already knows. If you have the faith, God has the power. So whatever it is today that you're going through, we want you to know that he's able. Even in uh, the midst of this pandemic, seemingly the world is upside down. But I believe God is still on the throne. He's speaking. He is yet an ever-present help in the time of trouble. We're going to pray today, and I believe we can get a prayer through here today, praying for those that have had the coronavirus, those that are dealing with it currently, Across the land, we're praying for you. Those that are hospitalized, we're praying for you. Whatever it is you're dealing with today, God is able. Praying today for our seniors today, our mothers. Mother Anderson, we're praying for you. Mother Burns, keep looking up. Mother Beck. We're praying for you, Mother Crookshank, Mother Foster. Hold on to God's unchanging hands. Reverend Lambert, we're lifting you up today. God is a healer. Praying today for Brother Malcolm David, who is there in the hospital. God is with you. He wouldn't bring you this far to leave you. We believe. We trust God today for your healing. I believe we can reach heaven today. Eternal God, our Father, we come this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thank you for another worship opportunity. Lord, we come this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts because we realize you've been mighty good to us. In spite of ourselves, in spite of the current situation, you've been good to us. Lord, we still got food on our table. We say, thank you, sir. Lord, we say, thank you. We got roofs over our head. Thank you for a reasonable portion of health and strength. Lord, the media pundits would have us to believe that sickness is blowing through the air, but the devil is a lie and the truth ain't in him. Lord, we come now saying thank you for your protection today. Thank you for keeping us like you've kept us. Thank you for making ways when we didn't even see a way. We say thank you, sir. Lord, the economy is down. People can't get enough pay, but we're still blessed. Lord, you're still making ways when we don't see a way. We say thank you, sir. Lord, Washington is upside down and politicians are uh, all over the place, but you're in control today. We say, thank you, sir. 
thank you for what you've already done. And we say thank you for what you are going to do. Now, Lord, I pray today a special prayer for those who are missing the worship in the sanctuary. Somebody, dear God, is watching on the screen, but they wish they could be in the sanctuary. I, I ask you to help them to realize that this too shall pass. Right, yes. Lord, I pray that you would look on those who are sick and have said, pray for me. Yes, Lord. Lord, you already know who they are. And so in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would touch their bodies. Right now, Lord. Now, Lord. Now, Lord. I call you not so loud because I think you're hard of hearing. And I call you loud because I realize that we need you. Now, Lord, we call you because we know you got all power in heaven and earth is in your hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would have your way, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would touch Malcolm David today in a special way. Now, Lord, you made the doctors, Lord. You know all about him in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, you know those that have said, pray for me. In the name of Jesus, I'm asking you to look and have mercy while mercy can still be found. Now, Lord, somebody ain't feeling like the holiday spirit, but in the name of Jesus, I ask you to restore joy in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, to have your way in the midst of this dark season. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Lift up, bow down heads. Give ease to troubled minds in the name of Jesus. Somebody is worried about a financial situation but in the name of Jesus I ask you to have mercy right now somebody that got lonely because can't nobody visit them and they can't go visit but in the name of Jesus I know you to be a company keeper in the name of Jesus now Lord now Lord now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, have your way from the White House to the poor house in the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you've already done. Thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, Look on bereaved families that have lost loved ones in the name of Jesus. Look on mother's son. Remember father's daughter in the name of Jesus. Some mother is worried about her children in the name of Jesus. Have your way. Turn them around for it's everlasting too late. Then, Lord, when it's yours to call, ours to answer, receive us unto thyself in Jesus' name. In the matchless name of Jesus, we claim victory. We claim power. We claim healing in the name of Jesus. We claim deliverance in the name of Jesus. Satan, you are liar. We come against you in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I come against sickness in the name of Jesus. Bring down fevers, touch and heal bodies in the name of Jesus. We believe you're going to do it. We believe you're going to do it in the name of Jesus. Do it. 
like only you can. In Jesus' name. Amen. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me while I'm on. How many want Jesus? I want Jesus. Do you want him to walk with you? To walk I know that's old fashioned, but come on, tell him walk. Walk with me, Lord. Tell him walk with walk me. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. While I'm on this it kind of tears journey. Walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. While I'm on this tears journey, I want Jesus. Mother, tell him. Walk with my brother. Please walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with my brother. Please walk with me. While I'm on this tedious journey, I want Jesus to walk Be my with friend. Me. Come on, give the Lord a hand. You at home, come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. How good the Lord really is. I don't know about you, but I need him to walk with me. How good the Lord really is. Amen. Thank God for another Sunday morning. Amen. I want to say to those that are sharing with us today, welcome to our online service. God bless you for tuning in. Church family, we see you, we see you. Look forward to you hitting the like button, hit the heart button on, the, on your device. Make sure we get some likes and some hearts on there. Also, I need to remind us, don't forget our giving. Don't forget to use the Givelify app today or the Venmo or Cash app. Those of you, some of you have dropped your donations off or mailed them. We appreciate your ongoing support. Amen. God bless you for being consistent in your giving. Amen. Also, I need to uh, say thank you. On yesterday, we had a great community giveaway here at Bethel. Amen. I want to say thank you to the men of Bethel Deacon Branch and Brother Nichols, Brother Blakey, Brother Ford, Brother Canton, Brother Cyrus, Reverend Moore, all of those who were here, what a time, what a time, what a time. It was a great event. We were blessed to give away over 1,000 coats, I understand, over 1,000 toys. We gave away several bags of food, and the line was down the street almost to Texas, and the cars were wrapped around here on Dover all the way back to Pacific. Amen. And we were able to serve everyone. And so we don't brag, but we give glory to God that we were able to be a blessing 
to those who are less fortunate. Amen. Hopefully somebody will have a better Christmas because of the donations that were given. The uh, City of Fairfield Quality of Life Division, the Clorox Company, Kaiser Permanente, several organizations, the Fairfield Community Services Foundation, uh, just all kind of organizations came together. It wasn't just Bethel, but it was hosted here, and it was a great, great, great event. We want to say thank you to Sister Dolores Nichols, who, sh who spearheads our We Care ministry. All of those volunteers from Bethel who were here on yesterday, God bless you. Amen. It was a great time and great fellowship. We were just blessed to see community coming together. Amen. Our police department, our fire department, public works, and others were all here. And so it was uh, a great uh, opportunity to give back. And so I'm glad that we were a part. And so thank you to all of you who participated. We had volunteers who drove as far all the way here from Oakland just to help out. And so we want them to know how much we appreciate them. And then on a, a good note, let me make mention, Bethel particularly, that we are excited about our chandelier room. Amen. The chandelier room is coming to Fairfield. If you haven't heard, spread the word right here on our campus. We will have a premier luxury event center. Amen. Commercial kitchen will be, be available and event center, and it's going to be upscale. You ain't seen nothing. You've been to the Ritz-Carlton. You ain't seen nothing. The Ritz is coming to Fairfield. Amen. So we want to make mention of that, and if the Lord say the same, uh, we'll be doing a ribbon cutting shortly, but, but more to come. Stay tuned. Let's look at the word, if you would, turning your thoughts briefly. Our Lord's gospel that's been recorded by St. Matthew. Matthew's gospel, chapter number one. Matthew's gospel, chapter one. Let's look at verse number 18 through 25. The old preachers would say, I have to give you a lot of scripture in order to press my claim. Amen. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18, beginning at verse 18, starts, it says, Now the birth of Jesus was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to jo Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. Verse 20 says, But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took him his wife and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. I want to use for a subject this morning, if it pleases our Christ, just for a few minutes, specially challenged parents and a gifted son. Right. Challenged parents, gifted son. All right. Just my little Easter Christmas speech today is going to be short. Just some notes, Brother Will, that I jotted down this week. Just my Christmas speech today, challenged parents, gifted son. A very merry Christmas to all of you. Jesus is yet the reason for the season. Amen. A unique couple with a special son. Are y'all with me today? Uh, uh, yeah, a unique couple, challenged, special 
challenged parents, gifted son. In today's climate, Reverend Evans, being politically and socially correct, we have, we have adjusted our language. Are y'all with me? We live in a uh, politically correct society where you can't just say whatever you want to say. Are y'all with me? Uh, we have changed our language. We've, ta- we've changed the way we talk in describing Sister Deborah people by their physical attributes. Are y'all with me? Uh, in other words, uh, in other words, uh, Mother Burns, the handicapped are no longer the handicapped. All right. uh, let me see if I can make it plain, Therese. They, we now call them the physically challenged. Yeah. Uh, the blind, we no longer call them blind, Brother Robinson. They are now what we call visually challenged or visually impaired. Uh, the deaf are no longer deaf. They are now what we call hearing challenged. Uh, the homeless, I wish I had somebody today, are no longer Deacon Branch called homeless, but we call them unhoused. Are y'all with me? Uh, 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 Sister Lambert, uh, the poor and indigent are no longer called poor and indigent. We now call them economically challenged. I wish y'all could hear me today. Uh, 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 The persecuted are no longer, Sister Wicker, considered the persecuted. Uh, we now, Maisha, call them socially challenged. Are y'all with me? And so in our text this morning, Sister Hart, two of the participants in the text uh, is a couple who are known as what we would call in 2020 socially challenged. Mary and Joseph. Are y'all with me today? Mary and Joseph. You, you remember Mary and Joseph, don't you, Sister Ruby? They are unlike any couple on planet earth. What do you mean, preacher? Well, Joseph is the only uh, man on the planet who who, who, who was pledged to be married to a woman that's been impregnated by the Holy Spirit. Keith, uh, the next participant uh, was more than an actor in this Christmas drama in the text. But, you know, the star of the show, I wish I could hear y'all today, Sister Mixon, Jesus Christ the Lord. Now, let me say a little bit about each one of them, and then we're going to go home because y'all don't like this kind of preaching. But, uh, Reverend Moore, this couple, this couple, Mary and Joseph, Mary and Joseph, they were challenged socially. They were unique. They were unlike Brother Blakey, any other couple. Y'all not hearing me today. Brother Fred, uh, Joseph is the only man on the planet, Sister Evans, uh, who has pledged to marry somebody impregnated by the Holy Spirit. Now, 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 forgive me today, forgive me today, Sister Moore, but there are men who are pledged to be married to women that are impregnated by a third party, but let me assure y'all this morning that the third party's name is not Holy Ghost. All right, all right. Uh, Reverend Clark, the, the, the circumstances surrounding, surrounding the birth of Jesus are singular in nature. Uh, in other words, there was none before him born of a virgin, and as far as I know, there's none that have come after him that have been born of a virgin. Just my little Christmas speech today. Now, uh, there are obviously several other babies, uh, Brother Johnson, born in Bethlehem. Yes, I, I believe there had to be other babies born in Bethlehem. There were other babies who were the offspring of David. There were other babies who were even born in mangers. Y'all ain't with me today. Uh, There were other babies, Sister Yolanda, wrapped in swaddling clothes. There were other babies, no doubt, born in modest and humble 
uh, circumstances. There were other babies uh, whose mother name was Mary. Uh, 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 there were other babies born, Sister Hart, while cattle were gazing and uh, shepherds were keeping watch over their flock. But you must agree with me today, There's, but there was nobody like Jesus. Nobody. Come on, talk to me if you can. Uh, Sister Bay, uh, you do agree with me today that he's in a class all by himself. Yes, he is. Yes, he I don't is. care what you say. There's nobody like Jesus. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of a virgin. I, I mean, he's in a class all by himself. And so, Sister Nichols, because of the singular nature of his birth, Joseph and Mary, uh, they're confronted with some social challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean, Reverend? Well, first it was seemingly a scandal. And you know, y'all know how it is when you hear a scandal. You know, we like a good scandal. We no longer live in a culture where having a baby without a husband is shameful. Talk back to me if you can. Right, right. That's not our modern day society. Matter of fact, there's some women, if y'all be honest, who are opting for pregnancy without the intent of ever getting married. Yeah, yeah. And, and the way some of my, 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 my good brothers are, I can't blame. Oh, that's another story. That's another But they want the baby. Uh, these women say, I want a baby, but I don't want no husband. I don't want no man around. Uh, so, so their impregnation is not by accident, but by planned intent and design. Unless I get in trouble today with my Christmas speech. But 2,000 years ago, it was a different world. Uh, Sister Norma, it was a different world. To be found with a child and no husband not only brought shame to the woman, but also shame to her family and the village that she lived in. So as a matter of fact, it was even a crime. I wish y'all could hear me today. It was even a crime worthy of death to be caught with a baby without a husband. Uh, 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 what do you mean? Well, Maya, the crime was punishable by death, not for the woman, but even for the man. Yeah, yeah. According to the law of Moses in Deuteronomy, it says if a man happens to meet in a town a virgin pledged to be married and he sleeps with her, you shall take both of them to the gate of that town and stone them to death. Yeah, they wasn't playing back in the day. The, the girl, uh, because she was in a town and didn't scream for help, and the man, because he violated another man's wife. I wish y'all could hear me today. And so uh, uh, the, the text, the scripture would say, you must purge the evil from among you. So they had to be stoned to death. Because of the stiff penalty uh given out by the law. In other words, they had, teenage pregnancy was at an all-time low. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Matter of fact, it was practically unheard of. But secondly, secondly, the, the next challenge they faced uh, was that Joseph was hurt and Joseph was embarrassed. Brothers, y'all ought to say something. Uh, 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 Joseph was hurt. Joseph is embarrassed. Uh, the text in the Living Bible paraphrases, uh, it says this way, these are the facts concerning the birth of Christ. Uh, his mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph, but oh, yeah. while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. I'm just going to make it plain. Then Joseph, her fiancé, being a man of stern principles, decided to break the engagement off, but he decided to do it quietly because he didn't want to disgrace himself or her in the public. Are y'all with me? Uh, the Living Bible says, as he lay awake considering this, uh, he fell into a dream, Sister C, and, 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 and he saw an angel standing beside him, and the angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't hesitate to take Mary as your wife. Uh, for the child within her, the angel said, has been conceived by the Holy Spirit. Knowing that the child she was carrying was not his child, brothers, y'all ain't saying nothing. Joseph felt like any man would hurt, would, would, would feel he was hurt. He was be 
trade. Are y'all with me? Uh, his pride caused him to petition for a divorce. I, when I read it, Sister Gaddis, I wasn't mad at Joseph. I understood. But his love for Mary caused him to do it on the low. He always saying nothing. He didn't want to embarrass Mary. While he was hurt, he was wounded over what seemed like a scandal. Sister Irving, uh, an angel of the Lord appears unto Joseph and says, Son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife because what is conceived in her is of God. It's of the Holy Spirit. And so uh, you do know that there are there are some things that only an angel can straighten out, don't you? Uh, uh, I mean, come on, come on, come, come, come on, be real with me today. Can you imagine uh, uh, Joseph trying to explain, y'all ain't saying nothing, that an angel spoke to him and told him that the child his promised wife is carrying is from the Holy Ghost? Come on, y'all. Joseph, man, you done lost your whole mind. Uh, the third way they were challenged is that they were shunned by their family. I'm almost done with my Christmas speech. Uh, they were shunned. And you do know how family can do, don't you? Uh, when you read Luke's account of the incarnation, you will discover that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be taxed. So in order to take a proper census, uh, uh, everybody under Roman rule was required to go back to their hometown. The reason why I know, uh, Brother Lorenzo, that they were shunned by their family, and the reason I put that together was because when they arrived home, Yanika, the Bible says they were looking for a room in the inn. Y'all right. ain't with me. Okay. Now, I don't know about how y'all roll. I don't know how your family gets down, but whenever you go back to your hometown, uh, you ought not have to be looking for no inn. Oh, y'all yeah. ain't saying nothing. I know we live in a society, I ain't staying with mine either. I'm going to get me a hotel, but I don't have to get. If I said I couldn't afford a hotel, guess what they would do? Uh, but the only inn you ought to really have to stay in is the one of some of your people. You know, when you go back home, are y'all with me? Uh, when you go back home to where your kin folk are, you don't go looking for no room in the inn. You don't have to. Uh, uh, you just do it because we bougie now. You know, we just do it because we can. But there was a time when you couldn't afford to stay at the Marriott. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You couldn't afford to stay uh, uh, at the Holiday Inn or the Hampton Inn. Uh, even if somebody had to sleep on the couch. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Maybe, I don't know how y'all do, but my, my, my folks, I mean, they would do uh, what grandma would call roll out a pallet on the f Don't nobody know nothing about a pallet. Uh, but, but, but you didn't go look for no inn when you went back home to Arkansas and Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. You didn't go looking for no inn. You went to your family's house. But the fact that Joseph and Mary were looking for room in an inn All right. is an indication that they were shunned. They was dissed by yes, their own yes, family. Yes, and you know why they was dissed? Because of Mary's condition. Because Mary was pregnant. Y'all ain't, I'm almost done with my Christmas speech and y'all ain't got it yet. But <laughs> there was no room in the home of their family uh, because Mary was accused of bringing shame on the family. Sometimes what I've discovered in life is that the very folk who you thought you could look to when trouble comes will tell you there is no room at my house. Y'all ain't saying nothing. When you're misunderstood, there's no room. When you're in need of a friend, there's no room. When you need somebody to understand what you're going through, there's no room. And so Mary and Joseph go back to their hometown, and they find no room. Teach Mary and Joseph are challenged, but on top of being challenged now, they are persecuted. Y'all ain't with me. They, yet they are able to endure because they knew that in spite of the challenge, in spite of the persecution, they, 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 
they knew, uh, in spite of all of that, they knew about the promised child. Through the seed of the woman, God would send into the world to save man from their sins. Are y'all with me? I got to close my little Christmas speech because it's 1215 and my time is up. But look at the child, if you will. All right now. Having been assured by the angel that Mary would bring forth a child into the world and he would be uh, the Holy One of Israel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Joseph was raised from his sleep uh, because the angel of the Lord had to deal with Joseph. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the text says uh, the angel told him to take Mary as his wife. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh, oh, Lord. And the Bible says he knew her not. Are y'all with me? And y'all know what it means when it said he knew her not. I wish I had somebody, but he knew her not uh, till she had brought forth her firstborn son. The text says, and he called his name Jesus. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And I got to leave y'all, but I'm going to tell you uh, my little Christmas speech. I thought about this the other day. There is, Brother Nichols, nobody like Jesus. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but he's in a class all by himself. Yeah, he was Mary's baby. But he is the only man who is as old as his father. <laughs> but yet he's older than his mother. I was reading it, Dr. Hudson, and I got confused because I, I realized that he's the only man who is as old as his father, but yet he's older than his mother. And so I looked at it the other day, Brother Will, and I discovered that as Mary's baby, uh, he was in the infant of days as the son of God. There were no infant of days. Y'all ain't with me as Mary's baby, he was in the infant of his days. But uh, in the image of his father, he is the ancient of days. Is there anybody here as Mary's baby? Uh, I kind of feel all right now. Uh, he was a babe in Bethlehem. But as the son of God, he was the beginning who didn't even have a beginning. I'm not going to really preach today, but I just want to tell y'all, as Mary's baby, he is the seed of Abraham. But as the son of God, he's the savior of Abraham. Are y'all in here today? As Mary's baby, I feel all right, y'all. He was the house, he was of the house of David. But as the son of God, he is the shepherd of David. As Mary's baby, he grew in wisdom and stature. Uh, but as the son of God, he is omnipotent. He's omnipresent. Uh, and he's omniscient. Y'all ain't saying nothing. As Mary's baby, uh, he was accused of being a liar. But as the son of God, he is the one that will set the liar free. Y'all ain't helping me. As Mary's baby, he was regarded as a lawbreaker. But as the son of God, he came to fulfill the law. Uh, is there anybody here today that knows there's nobody like my Jesus? As Mary's baby, he had nowhere to lay his head. But as the Son of God, heaven is his throne, and uh, the earth is uh, his footstool. As Mary's baby, uh, he was called an imposter. They said he was a phony, uh, but as the Son of God, he knew that every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. As Mary's baby, he laid down his life. But as the Son of God, 
picked it back up again as Mary's baby. Y'all ain't with me. He was crucified, but as the Son of God, y'all know what happened right early. Sunday morning, uh, he got up from the grave with all power in his hand as Mary's baby. Uh, Y'all ain't saying nothing. He got dirty and dusty, uh, but as the Son of God, uh, he can wash you whiter than snow. Is there anybody here that can see Brother Preacher? I know him as Mary's baby, but I know him as my heavenly father. I know that he'll make a way when I don't have a way. I know he'll put money in my pocket when I get broke. I know when my friends turn their backs on me I know that he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother is there anybody here that can say as Mary's baby he's a baby born in Bethlehem but as my heavenly father when I get sick I said when I get sick one touch he can heal my body is there anybody here that knows that he'll keep you company when you get lonely is there anybody here that can say I know him I know him but the good part about it is that he knows me Mary's baby was born in Bethlehem but the Son of God, but the Son of God, y'all ain't saying nothing. The Son of God walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me. That's my, East, my Christmas speech. That's my Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. He tells me that I'm his own. He walks with me. He talks with me. He gives me power to overcome the devil as the son of God. Is there anybody here that know he's just good? I said he's just good. He's good. Ain't he good? Do y'all know he's good? In spite of what you're going through, he's good. And I'm glad he's been good because he's been good. I'll serve him the balance of my days. I'll praise him on the rooftops. I'll lift him up in spite of what's going on. I come to give him glory. I come to praise his name. He's worthy. That's my that's all I got. That's it. That's it. That's, it. that's my Christmas speech. <laughs> He's worthy today. He's worthy today. Something about the name Jesus. That's what Brother Ranch, the late Reverend Ranch Allen said, something about the name Jesus. Sweetest name. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It's the sweetest name I know. If you're watching today and you don't have a church home, maybe you once belonged to church, you drifted away that's you this is an opportunity for you to get it right it's not about joining church it's about a relationship with Jesus Christ if you're watching today and you maybe you're saved maybe you love the Lord but you drifted away my hand represents his hand give me your hand but give God your heart send us an email call us let us know it ain't about worshiping in the sanctuary. You can accept Jesus Christ from wherever you are. You don't have a church home. Find a church near where you live where you can worship. And right now you can't go there, so just find a church that you like and call them, let them know you want them to be a part of, you want to be a part of their family. But I wouldn't stay in the same place I am. There's no way you can hear about Christ and remain 
the same. The sweetest name. Y'all know that? <laughs> Somebody sing that for me, Lady Gilmore. Something about the name Jesus. Brother Will, somebody, y'all don't know that? Okay, leave it alone. Y'all can't mess with Rand Salad. Huh? Something about the name Jesus. <laughs> Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. There you go. I know. There you go. Oh, I love the name Jesus. Anybody love Jesus? Oh, I love the name Jesus. It's the sweetest. It is the sweetest name. I know something about the name Jesus. Something about the name. Something about the name Jesus. It's the sweetest. It is the sweetest name. I know. Anybody know? <laughs> oh, how I love the Come name Come on, do you Jesus. love the name Jesus? Oh, I love the name Jesus. It's the sweetest. It is the sweetest name. I know. I know. I know. Something Jesus. about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Oh, how I love the name love Jesus. Love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Oh, I love the name Jesus. Oh, I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. I know. I know. I know. that name. I know. You got to know the name Jesus. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Do you know the name Jesus? Do you know? I know. I know. Make sure you know the name. I know. I know. I know. I know.
It is the sweetest name I know. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise wherever you are, even at home. It's the sweetest name I know. Something about the name Jesus. How good the Lord really is. God be with you till we meet again, church family. Look forward to seeing you online Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. Chat with Pastor, two, 7 o'clock on Tuesday night. God be with you till we meet again. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for sharing with us. God be with you till we meet again. Say, God, God be with you until we meet again. Oh, God. Don't forget your giving today. Don't forget Venmo, Cash App, Give Lafay, mail it, drop it off. Until we meet again, if we never more shall meet you, if we never more shall meet, if we never more, if we never more shall, shall greet, you, greet you, God be with you till we meet, until we meet again. Keep on working for the master. He'll be with you here and after. We want to say, God, God be with you until we meet again. Now, if we never more, if we never more, if we never more, Until we meet, until we meet again. again, keep on working for the, for the master. master. He'll be with you. He'll be with you here and we want to say, God, God be with you until we meet again. God, our Father, again in thy presence and in thy sight have we come. And how mindful we are of all of your many blessings individually and collectively. Lord, how we thank you for all that you have done. And thank you. That you're doing right now. You've been good to us. Yes, Lord. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we pause to say thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for these holiday seasons that are approaching. And we pray that you would just keep your loving arms around us and bless us with such blessings as we stand in need yeah. of. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day and for this worship experience. Thank you for the message and how we thank you for the yeah. messenger. Keep your arms around him and bless him. And let him always be able to break unto us the bread of life in such a way that when we go down from this place, others will be able to look on us and say, those people have been with the Lord. Thank you now. Thank you, sir. And we give your name praise. Yes, Lord. And we'll continue to praise you uh, the rest of our lives. In this our servant's prayer, in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, we pray. Lord. Amen.
Amen. God bless you.